Oklahoma Department of Wildlife Conservation runs a citizen science program that encourages homeowners to observe the wildlife, particularly the birds, in their backyard. And joining us to tell about this program is Rachel Bradley. Hi, Kim. Hi, Rachel. Welcome. Thank you. Now, tell me a bit about the Backyard Bird Survey and some of the, the goals of this. Well, every winter we encourage um, Oklahomans to participate in wildlife. And the easiest way is our annual Backyard Bird Feeder Survey. So we encourage them to hang a bird feeder and give them all the tips on what food to use and what hanging devices or platforms, what types of feeders to use, and where to place them. Okay, and so you start this by providing some information that comes out in your magazine. Yes, our Outdoor Oklahoma mm -hmm. November-December issue every year is all about winter birds, and it actually also has a calendar, so that's nice to mm -hmm. get you ready for the next year. And in that, we post different, we publish different um, topics about birds mm -hmm. and how to attract the ones you really want and get rid of squirrels maybe. <laughs> deter <laughs> or other. some others. Yes, deter some others. Okay. And um, how to complete the survey, how to download it, and it's very simple. The survey actually takes place in January okay. and so we kind of give the preparation through the magazine and then in January for a consecutive weekend over, it's about January 6th through the 9th, for two consecutive days you just watch your bird feeder mm -hmm. a few times a day and you write down which um, species you see and the number. So it's very easy anyone can do it even children it's a great activity when you're locked inside from the cold that's true and it's a great way to get children involved um, yes. and learning the birds um, starting to learn them by name and yes. learning who's visiting their yard now you use this information that's collected mm -hmm. statewide and it for you guys, you're learning what bird species are visiting in different counties and what numbers. Yes, it really helps us. We already have a good idea of what's in different counties and different parts of Oklahoma, but this helps what if there's an unusual species in a backyard. Um, mm -hmm. So something's extending its range. If that were to happen, this would help us um, kind of give us lead way into studying something else and um, better maintain our populations throughout Oklahoma in the winter time because um, birds are here all year round right. and so it's important not to leave out the winter food sources, the water, the cover and so this really gives um, land homeowners an opportunity to get involved and um, help us out. Excellent. So we'll have to watch for that in the magazine but we can also learn about this from your website? Yes, wildlifedepartment.com and we actually have a full service um, winter bird website. It's okwinterbirds.com and that is serviced through the wildlife department and it also has all of the information on winter birds and identifying birds through um, their color, their wings and um, their structure and everything. So that's also a really great source. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much, Rachel. Thank you.